So joining me today is uh, Stephanie Smith. She's our Club Communications Manager here, and she'll be answering questions for you um, as we go along through the webinar, or also at the end we can have a Q&A at the end as well. So just type your questions in in the toolbar, and um, we'll get started. So um, first we're going to talk about um, Facebook. I think for clubs, probably the easiest way to get engaged with social media um, is to start your own Facebook page. Uh, we've recently been surveying clubs and also uh, going to all clubs' Facebook pages, and we found that about 2,200 clubs right now um, have a Facebook page already. So um, if you're one of those clubs, congratulations. If not, we're here to help you get started on your Facebook journey. So what is Facebook, for those who don't know? Everyone's heard of it, but it's basically a social network. Um, I think there are more than 900 million users, close to a billion users right now. And a lot of um, adults are the ones who use Facebook. It's really a great way to stay connected with either your family, your friends, uh, club members, certainly. I belong to a lot of AKC clubs, and I get a lot of information through my different um, Facebook affiliations. One nice thing about Facebook is it also allows you to have a brand page or a club page. So um, I live in Newtown, Connecticut. We can start a Newtown Kennel Club page if we like. So Facebook club pages, what do they help you do as a club? They allow you to share stories and connect with people. Um, you know, Facebook has a search function, so people may be just uh, looking for information about their favorite breed or about dogs in their area and their community, um, can go to Facebook and find you pretty easily. Um, it's a great place to have news feeds for all your fans, uh, club members. Um, you know, I used to be a newsletter editor for my club, a variety of clubs, and as you know, it's really hard sometimes to get information out in a timely way. So um, having Facebook lets you do that. Um, pretty much 24-7 on demand whenever you need to get information out to your club members, uh, Facebook is just a great place to go to do that for you. Um, you have options to create them and also manage them from your personal account. So if you're already active on Facebook personally, um, it would be really easy for you to manage your club page as well. So AKC has had a Facebook page for quite a long time. In fact, we started uh, before there were even brand pages, and uh, my personal page actually started as the AKC Facebook page back in 2007, I believe. And since then, obviously, it's grown exponentially. We have over uh, two and a half million uh, followers right now, so lots going on there. But uh, for your club, you know, you can come to the AKC Facebook page as a place to start. You know, we post a lot of engaging content there. Um, things about dogs that people can use that, you know, feel free to share all that with your club members. Um, we put news up there about programs, about uh, things going on in the world of dogs. We put show wins. We put all sorts of things up there. Um, for those of you who have been, you know. Uh, we also put fun pictures up. We have hashtags that engage um, the larger dog-loving audience across the country and the world. So there's pretty much something for everyone at AKC's Facebook page. So I'd encourage clubs to come there and to uh, share the posts that we have um, with your club. So if you're just starting in Facebook, it's a great place to come to get content. Uh, we also have a lot of links there for our Wolfopedia articles on our website, wolfopedia.com. Um, and then we have lots and lots of videos that we've been building over the last couple of years. We have new breeds. We have training videos. We have uh, interviews with responsible breeders. Uh, we have highlights on agility. So pretty much anything that you, your club members, are involved with, um, we have a video for. And you can easily share that um, with your followers on Facebook. So how do you start? So Facebook's made it really easy to um, start here. They um, will prompt you through every step of the way. And of course, uh, we are here to help you as well. Um, you know, we'll sit, sit with you on the phone if you need help to, to set this up. Um, Stephanie, myself, or Jill, our social media coordinator, um, are certainly here as a resource for you to use. Um, but basically, you just go to Facebook, you follow the prompts to set up, and you can set your page up. And uh, it is a pretty easy process. So to create a club page, um, you log in and you go to the Facebook.com pages section. And again, they will uh, help you create a page, um, whether you're a business or a not-for-profit or a community organization, um, whatever your industry is, then that will be how your page is set up among Facebook. 
So this is a snapshot here of our um, AKC page, our Facebook page, and there's just a couple of elements here just to get you started about what you can put in here. Um, there's two images, certainly across the top of the page is the hero image. That's the long, broad uh, image on this one that shows um, our chance to win a trip for two to New York. Um, and then there's also something called the default image, which is the little square image um, to the right side. Um, but what's great about Facebook page features is you can uh, put a description about your club in there. You can link to your website. Uh, you can have photo galleries. You can link to your club's blog if you have one. So it's a, it's a nice place to put all the information about your club. Um, it's also very easy to do if, say, your club doesn't have a website um, and you want to get started right away with reaching out to the public. So items to include. So promoting your page, you should definitely, like I said, include a link to your club's website uh, in the About section. Um, you can ask your club members to um, you know, add a link to your Facebook page um, through them as well. Um, and also links to anything you have, whether it's you know, show materials uh, from a superintendent or premium lists online, uh, any other written material that you have can certainly um, be put up there. And also uh, make sure to update your club members about uh, the new page in your newsletter. Um, I found that uh, when AKC started its Facebook page, um, a lot of people didn't know that we had one. So we did an email campaign to all of the AKC registrants, uh, letting them know. And the amount of people who liked the page during that campaign was um, it, just incredible. It was uh, 10,000 or more a day, but this is way back in the day. So um, make sure your club members know about it. Send it out in your old newsletter. Put a notice on your website that you now have a Facebook page. And uh, you know, get the word out. and. Uh, you know, ask for volunteers from your club who may want to be part of a social media committee. Uh, I am part of the social media committee for my parent club, and you know, we have come up with ideas and share posts and things like that. So it's a great way also to get new members in your club uh, involved with something that the club is doing. Uh, if they don't have a lot of experience with showing dogs, but they would like to get involved with your club, and of course, Facebook has a help section uh, that will. Uh, tell you everything you need to know to get started. So Facebook pages have something called an admin, and basically that's the person in charge. <laughs> it's the person who can um, post to the site, uh, answer questions, um, upload pictures, uh, type in the uh, information that you would like your club to have. Um, you can also share content from other pages. So you can come again to our page uh, and share information from AKC's page on your page, uh, which will help you populate your page as you get started. So what to post and who to like. Um, I found that clubs love to post about their upcoming uh, events. Uh, dog shows, uh, their annual dog show is usually their largest event. Um, any trials, obedience trials. Training classes are also a great thing to post. Uh, that's more local to your community and can help bring new, new dog lovers into your club. Uh, if you hold a responsible dog ownership day activity, that's also a great thing to post on your um, Facebook page. Uh, anything fun, if you're holding a fun match that involves the, the community or a free pizza night or whatever, um, posting it there is a great way to get the word out. Um, some clubs have put their meeting schedules up with the location in their calendar of events. Um, other ones put up photos or videos of their club members' dogs, sort of like a, you know, bragging rights of dogs uh, up there. Uh, interesting news, facts, or history about your club is also a fun thing to do. Um, here at AKC, we have a wealth of information uh, from uh, past uh, Gazette content that we repurpose on our blog and on Facebook, photos, information. Uh, you know, you as a club can, can do the same thing, old photos from your shows or your events. Um, you know, people like to see uh, uh, tradition and history in photos as well. Um, so who do you like? So you go to AKC as your first stop because here we have um, all the information that your club can use to help populate and share on your Facebook page. Uh, also, you can go to other dog clubs um, if you're a... Um, all breed or training club, 
um, you could go populate uh, your, your page with all the parent club sites that are out there. So anybody coming to your page can see all the different uh, breed clubs that are around the country. Uh, if you're more geographic, um, maybe the local uh, specialty clubs in your area, that would be re very relevant for um, people in your area to connect with uh, specialty breed clubs. Also, dog-friendly businesses and groups in your community, you know, veterinarians, dog walkers, groomers, trainers. Uh, these are great because you start to establish a relationship with the other dog lovers in your community. Um, and it's you know, very important when you put on a show in your community and maybe you're looking for partners, whether they're media partners or sponsors or whatever, uh, the first way to outreach to these people uh, could be through your Facebook page. You can show an interest in them and they will learn about you through your Facebook page. So here's just a few examples of posts. Um, for example, you know, your next club meeting is, what you're going to do there, um, if you have a presentation, someone's talking, some expert, some celebrity, whatever is coming into your meeting, uh, you know, you want to share that information. And then ask people to come join you. I've seen some clubs start uh, actual event pages on Facebook uh, for specific events. Um, so it, it, you know, it really does work. Um, I'll, I'll share a personal story, I, I joined a, a cluster event page and then I totally forgot about the closing date for that show and because they sent me a notice, I actually remembered to enter the dog show. So this definitely works. So um, you know, I encourage you to do that. Uh, you can also promote the annual show, uh, talk about who's going to be there, all your extra activities at the show, whether you're going to have a meet the breeds or a dog show tour or a new exhibitor briefing. Um, whatever is going to be special about your event, um, that's a great thing to post on your Facebook page. Um, also photos, photo albums, um, everybody loves photos, so last year's uh, club event pictures or if you have ones of, uh, coming up, that would be a great thing too. Um, and also you can share uh, photos and videos of all your club members' dogs and you know one thing about Facebook, it's all about engagement and getting people to interact with you. So, you know, everyone loves dogs and everyone who has a dog or wants a dog um, will want to talk about their dog. So sharing your own photos of your dogs and asking others uh, in your area to post the same is a great way to um, start that conversation. So fans can post on your page publicly um, and they can also message you privately. So the private messages are a great way to get questions answered uh, if someone doesn't uh, you know, feel comfortable posting it publicly or they just want to uh, you know, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your club to ask a question. Um, you know, it, it's a nice way to kind of uh, have, a, have a back and forth in a public forum. Um, you, know, you can also like people's posts and you know, let them know that they're, that they're out there, that they're, they've been acknowledged, that you know, you're actually um, a club is its members. So the personality of your members and the interaction that you have with the community at large through your Facebook page um, is really going to come across and it will attract people to want to um, be a part of your club depending on uh, you know, whether you do fundraising or community outreach or you're holding events um, or educating the public about responsible dog ownership. Um, all this can um, come together on a Facebook page. So using the admin panel. Um, admins or administrators, again, are the ones who have access to the panel. Um, and you can see a couple of things here as you get more familiar with Facebook. Uh, you can, uh, uh, notifications, those are people who are writing into you, messages, um, uh, also insights that would be to see, you know, who's, who's coming to your page, where they're coming from, um, all those metrics. So there's a lot of different things that you can certainly um, look at behind the scenes um, on your Facebook page as well. Okay, so that was our overview of Facebook. I'm going to go a little bit into Twitter. Uh, I think Twitter is a nice social network. It has different purposes than Facebook, um, but I think it's also very relevant um, for clubs. So Twitter, what is it? It's a microblogging social network. Uh, it has hundreds of millions of users, certainly. Uh, you hear about it in the news all the time. Um, and again, it allows people to stay connected with their family and friends. Um, 
people follow each other on Twitter, uh, just like Facebook. You can also have um, private messages um, on Twitter to talk and engage as well. Um, but it's also a great way to, um, again, post information about your club, uh, news feed, what's coming down the pike, uh, what's going to be happening. Um, it's just another tool. Uh, there are some people who only use Facebook. There are some people who only use Twitter. Some use both. But by uh, utilizing both of these social networks, um, you'll get a, a far greater reach in your community to uh, connecting with dog lovers. Again, it's uh, microblogging, so it's a very short form, short messaging. Um, sometimes it looks like weird shorthand in, in, uh, in Twitter, but uh, once you get to use it, uh, it becomes pretty easy to craft messages there. Um, our Facebook, I'm sorry, our Twitter handle is uh, at AKC Dog Lovers. Um, and again, you can go there and uh, follow us and then retweet all of our tweets to your larger network to help you get started. So what kind of posts or tweets of 140 characters are there on Twitter? Here's just a couple of uh, different types of tweets. You can have personal messages uh, with a link to a photo. You can have a brand promotion message. Uh, you can have uh, industry-related news, uh, something about dogs or dog health. Uh, inspiring quotes. People love to use Twitter for that. Uh, one of the easiest things clubs can do is, again, follow other clubs or follow AKC or follow relevant uh, do dog organizations or canine health organizations so that when you see something that you know might be um, really relevant to any dog owner, you can retweet that and, and share it and you know be looked upon as a resource for uh, unlimited expert knowledge um, about dogs. And then, again, you can have the uh, message directed towards someone. Again, that's a private message. So once you follow someone on Twitter and they follow you back, then you can start to have those private messages. So how do you sign up? Uh, if you're new to Twitter, you go to twitter.com, and you fill out your name. You create your username and a password. Um, we have an example here. We use Trap Falls Kennel Club. Um, it could be any one of these things depending on where you are, what kind of club you are. But this becomes your you know, Twitter uh, handle, your Twitter name, if you will. Um, and it says who you are. So it says you're an AKC Trap Falls Club in Connecticut. Um, you know, it gives you a little personality about what you are and who you are as a club and as a brand. Um, a personal account might look a little different or somebody's um, first name. So try to keep it broad and, and club or brand based when you sign up for Twitter so that people looking for you um, will know who, who you are. So begin typing your tweet. So it's really easy. There's a little box right here. This is the AKC Twitter page. Um, again, these social networks make it really easy for people to get started. Uh, once you play with it a little bit, it'll um, start to come together for you. Uh, you can also, like I said, call us. Uh, we're more than happy to help you get started with this and help you compose your first tweets. Um, but it'll say uh, you can put your tweet in the box, the little counter at the bottom. Uh, we'll show you how many characters you have left out of your 140 characters. Uh, and then once you're finished, you just hit tweet, and it goes to be published to all of your followers. Now, I like the Twitter mobile app, um, especially to promote clubs' dog shows, because it's just so easy. We, Many of us have our smartphones. We're at dog shows. Um, you know, we see great pictures of dogs. So you just have to download the app from the App Store. Um, and once you set up your account, you sign in with your username and password. And then at a dog show, uh, I've done this, you can take a picture, compose a tweet, and send it right out there on the spot. And again, it's just a great way to uh, connect with your community while events are happening. Um, these social media tools are just something that um, I think all clubs should embrace because they are the best way to reach people um, you know, on the moment about your events and what's going on. So in the app um, and on the desktop version, uh, here we have um, you, how to put pictures into your tweets, um, little camera icon at the bottom there to help you take a picture. Um, and just on mobile, same thing. And, and just remember that uh, when you do take a picture, it takes up a little more 
space of your characters than when you just simply type out text. So some supporting items to consider uh, when you're putting together some of these tweets. Um, there are a variety of ways to create shortened hyperlinks um, in your tweet. So if you have a website address that's you know 500 characters long, that's not going to fit. So uh, using certain uh, widgets, you can uh, condense those into little tiny um, links in your um, in your tweet. Um, to keep everything under the 140 maximum. And images, again, like I said, take up a lot of space, too. So they're great. Uh, just write less when you take a picture. Um, another thing we've done here at AKC that your club members can do to help spread the word about your Twitter account, your club's account, is to um, add this information to their email signatures, especially if they're club officers. Um, what, what I do here, I have a link to AKC's Facebook account, our Twitter account, um, I believe it's Instagram and maybe Vine, um, YouTube account. So you're sort of spreading the word about your social media networks every time you send an email on behalf of the club. So you know, the more ways you can get out there the news that your club has these um, social network connections, the better. Same with Twitter, your Twitter link um, for match, show, event advertising, etc. And then again, you know, let your club members know, just like with Facebook, that you've got this great tool out there, and ask them to, um, you know, join the conversation, if you will, and uh, you know, help the club to to promote things through Twitter. Uh, again, follow AKC's uh, Twitter account, which is at AKC Dog Lovers, and uh, that will give you a lot, a lot of content to uh, start to create what's called a churn on Twitter, where you're sending out multiple uh, tweets per day. Um, other things that Facebook and Twitter have are the hashtags. Certainly these are um, ways to uh, put tweets and other information um, together in one place for people to see. Uh, hashtag might be hashtag AKC or hashtag say, Trap Falls Kennel Club. Um, and then you can also promote these hashtags to other people so they can add to those uh, conversation chains with the hashtag or you can send people to there to find all the information about your particular event. Um, or dog show. And then when you're uh, composing your tweets, you can certainly put in, <laughs> this is where it looks like shorthand to some of us, but um, hashtags of the event, hashtag of the sport, um, other names of other Twitter accounts. So this example says, at AKC Dog Lovers, thanks for hosting the Agility Dog Show this weekend at Reliant Park. So this is saying that um, AKC Dog Lovers has an account, at Reliant Park has an account. Both of those accounts will see this tweet because they're mentioned. And then it will also be mentioned in the hashtag agility and the hashtag dog show um, so that the word about this event gets spread far and wide. And again, uh, try for one to two tweets per day to start. Um, you know, one to two images per show is great. Uh, again, a quote, retweets. You know, you can ask your club members to, you know, scour the showgrounds, taking pictures, uh, tweeting, you know, personal stuff out there, and then you can retweet it through your club. Uh, you know, anything. You're only limited by your own creativity for this. So, what to tweet about and who to follow. Uh, upcoming club events, same thing as in Facebook, meeting schedules. Uh, again, it's a just it's another social network to uh, get the word out about what's going on with your club uh, to a different set of relevant followers. The one thing I like about Twitter is that uh, Twitter is used a lot by journalists and the media so that if you follow your local reporters or anchors or weathermen uh, in your community um, and then they follow you back, then they will be getting all the information about your club uh, instantaneously and will help spark story ideas, certainly. Um, again, feel free to retweet content from our page. Uh, and again, go follow all the other uh, dog clubs in your area and uh, your community you know, vets and groomers and all that. Same as Facebook, same basic social strategy, uh, it's just a different platform. Again, here's some examples of tweets, um, and you can refer to this uh, later. But um, a couple of hashtags in there, you know, at Reliant Park. Um, you know, this is just a great list of examples here about the dog shows coming up. The dates are in there. Um, you can link to other websites, your website, add some photos, make it fun. 
And then uh, just to sort of wrap up here, um, just a brief mention about YouTube. Uh, so creating a YouTube account is, again, pretty simple. All the instructions are at YouTube. Um, what I like about YouTube is that uh, for videos that your clubs take of your shows, uh, short ones, you can use those to promote on Facebook or um, through Twitter. Um, and, but they can live uh, in an archive on your YouTube channel so that you have uh, some place to go to put your videos um, that can be easily accessed. And again, uploading your first video is very easy. Today you can do it um, via your phone. Uh, it's just, even I can do it. So um, I think clubs can uh, really embrace these technologies and these platforms to uh, you know, help them uh, spread the word even more about their clubs. So again, we're here for you. Um, Stephanie Smith, this is her contact information, or our social media coordinator, uh, Jill, this is her contact information as well. Um, so basically, you know, if uh, we have any questions or um, anything right now, uh, we have a few more minutes. And uh, AKC is always here to help you. We want clubs to succeed. We want clubs to be able to um, reach out to their community and and, and new audiences in relevant ways that will help them, uh, you know, show all the good work that clubs do with their fundraising, uh, with their knowledge about dog breeds and purebreds and events and dog sports. I mean, you know, the list is endless. So, um, again, if you want any information about anything, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we are always here to help you.